Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I received my radiator today, but before I ordered the radiator, I actually ordered um, the hybrid racing upper cooling hose, thinking that would have solved my issue, but then I end up cracking the little plastic neck on the my stock radiator. But since I have this, I might as well go ahead and unbox it in the meantime before I unbox the radiator. Hyper Racing did a pretty good job of shipping it out. Came here pretty quick. Tough to cut. I should have got this when I boosted the car, but I kind of cut corners and ended up making my own hose. Comes with a little business card, I'm assuming. All the information, installation guide, whatever hose this is. The main hose I'm really concerned about is this one. That's the one I really need to have. Or actually, that's not it. The main hose I really need is this one. My upper radiator hose. It actually says HN Civic right here. Not focusing. I know this is the hose that goes underneath the radiator, I believe. Oh, actually, it says it. I saw it lower. The filler neck. Filling information. A sticker. Not a sticker. Not a sticker. Really big box. Actually came from FedEx, and the box was open a little bit. Now, it don't seem like anything fell out. I haven't opened it yet. But I ordered this from um, KSeriesParts.com, and I ordered most of my things from there. And of course, the, it's super fast shipping. I literally got this like. In a day and a half notice, like two days at most. Um, when I got this radiator, I knew a lot of people would have most likely recommended the Koya one or the Mishimoto one. But I honestly got this because it was a tad bit cheaper. Realistically, I don't know how you could really mess up a radiator that bad. So, let's see how it is. I work with welders. I know what good welding look like. Let's see how this look. So right off the back, I do like this little metal sticker that they have on it. The welds are alright. A little crooked, but it's okay. I like this skunk too right here. Hopefully it gets the job done. Hopefully everything lines up properly and fits proper. Like I said, as a radiator, it sure really shouldn't be much of an issue. I do see that it has the fan bolts right here. Everything should be direct bolt on. Um, today I was going to take the car to work and actually swap it out because that's where I had the radiators and my parts delivered to. But I tried turning on the car and right away it started spewing coolant so I decided not to drive it just to be safe. The filler neck. This hole should actually go here somewhere. I don't know. Right here. But that's pretty much it. Just a quick unboxing. Let me know what kind of radiators you guys run. On your Civic SIs, and if it's turbo, let me know if it lasted. If you have a Skunk 2, let me know your any issues you had with that kind of radiator. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Until next time, when I actually install this, I'll make an install video on that also.